Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can view Visio files um, on your Windows 10 machine. So basically, Visio files uh, you can get them, you know, sometimes from your um, colleagues or employees um, through an email or somebody shared it with you, or you can download it from the web or something. Regularly, Visio files can be opened up with uh, using Internet Explorer, which is just a free browser that's included with Microsoft Windows 10. Sometimes, though, you would try to open up the Visio file using the Explorer, and the Explorer won't be able to view it because you're missing the Visio presenter or the Visio program that uh, some sort of a codec or a plugin that get, when it gets installed, it allows the Internet Explorer to be able to view the file. Now, obviously, if you want to edit or create Visio files, you would need Microsoft Office Visio, and that's a paid license you have to purchase. But if you're only trying to view the file and see what the content of the Visio file is, then you can simply just install the Visio Viewer from Microsoft for free, which I'm going to show you right now. So all we need to do is just to go to uh, Google in here and just type download Visio Viewer. I'm going to go to the Microsoft website uh, legal channel. I'm going to click on the first URL in here. Then I'm going to go down and click download. My version of Windows is 64 bits, so I'm going to choose the second option in here for 64. Then I'm going to click next. Then as you can see, the views of your just get downloaded on the left side of the screen in here on the bottom. I'm just going to click open afterwards to install it. Obviously, you have to be an administrator to be you have to be an administrator or have an administrative privilege in your account to be able to install the program. I'm going to agree on the agreement here uh, for Microsoft. It's a freeware anyway. Click here to accept the agreement. Then I'm going to click continue. Then I'm going to wait for the Visio Viewer to be installed, which will take one to two minutes. And as you can see, sometimes even less, uh, the installation is complete. It's going to press OK. Now, just please note, sometimes I've seen the Visio Viewer, Visio Viewer after it, before it finishes the last step of the installation, it might reboot your computer. So just be mindful of that. Uh, once the computer reboots back, the installer has to be reinstalled. In my case, it didn't reboot. I guess it all depends on what version of Office do you have and uh, whether you have one or not. But uh, just be mindful in case that happens because the reboot happens without even giving you a note, just the computer reboots. I've seen it only once happening before, but just wanted to give you a heads up. Now afterwards, I'm gonna close Chrome in here and I have a file that I downloaded for the web, just like a sample file. So as you can see, it has like the logo of Internet Explorer in here. So I'm gonna just double click it. And as you can see, I'm able to view the Visio file. I can even zoom into it here, like I'm gonna choose 100% and I can move it freely. Um, so yeah, basically that's how you open up a Visio file and view the content of it. If you don't have the Visio viewer, as you can see, sometimes the Explorer won't be able to open it up for you. The Visio file extension is VSTX, uh, just for you to, uh, to note. That's all about this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my new videos. Until then, or until the next video, have yourself a great day. Thank you very much for watching.